I look the way I do because I like this. Some people think that, oh, it's just for hype, I'm doing just for me. I want to wake up, go to the mirror and say, oh, Nasty, you are so beautiful today. I, li I love what I see. Hi, everybody. My name is Nastya and I have the biggest chicks in the world. I look the way I do because I like this. This is the only one reason. You and I may look at her and say, oh my gosh, her cheeks look so huge, and they do. But the first thing I want to say is that if she's happy with how she looks, then more power to her. I don't think that anybody should shame a person for how they look, and if this makes her happy, then by all means, that's fine. But let's get a little more information of how she got this way. When I was 26 years old, I understand that I look... Uh, that I'm not very pretty, yes? So I decided to make my lips because uh, I haven't lips at all. It was like like this, it was ugly. So I started uh, making my lips from 26 years old. I hope you agree with me that her lips look great. I do see this in my practice sometimes. I'll have people come in and they'll say, oh, my lips are so small, but their lips look fantastic and they're nice and full. This could be a sign of body dysmorphia, where somebody looks in the mirror and they see something different than reality. One year ago, I started making make such cheeks. Now I think I have to refresh already. I think that they're a little bit small. <laughs> you think that it's too big, but for me it's a little bit small now. These cheeks are small? They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so she wants bigger cheeks? Okay, this is not something that I would do in my practice. If somebody asked me to give them cheeks like this, I would just tell them that I'm not the right doctor for you, uh, but I'm sure there are other doctors who would do that. I never count how many procedures I have in my face. I never count because it's a lot. You can see that this is lots of, yes? It's lips, it's uh, cheeks, it's uh, my Botox here. Some time ago I have fillers here. Mm. Ah, and I make, uh, this is, I made myself, this, draw angles. Draw angles and my chin. It looks like in addition to having her lips plumped up, the massive amount of filler in her cheeks, some Botox in her forehead, that she probably had some liposuction under her chin, and then maybe some filler injected along her jawline to help recreate and to help give that jawline a more sculpted appearance. I never count how much I spent on my face. I never count, but I know that it's a lot. Maybe it's maybe around $2,000 in my cheeks and maybe something similar in lips, but I never count. I... $2,000 of filler in the cheeks is actually not that much. It's not uncommon for me to inject $2,000 worth of fillers in cheeks, even to inject $3,000 or more, but they don't look like her. So I don't know if maybe in the Ukraine, the fillers are a lot, lot cheaper. My guess is to create cheeks like this here in the United States, instead of $2,000 for each cheek, you're probably looking at $12,000 for each cheek. Ну, Настя, она самодостаточный человек, уже взрослый, она сама вправе отвечать за свои поступки, и я, в принципе, не против её образа. Ну, когда ей уже разонравится, она может это всё просто убрать, есть ферменты, которые растворяют все эти препараты, поэтому это не критично и не страшно. So her friend is downplaying what these treatments that she's had to fill out her cheeks are. Uh, it sounds like they're made of hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid is the most common injectable filler and it does have an antidote called hyaluronidase. And if we inject hyaluronidase into an area where there's uh, hyaluronic acid filler, it actually will melt that filler away. A good amount of it, maybe 30 to 40% of it, will melt away almost instantly. And then the rest of it within a few days to a week or so will in general disappear. But just because you can dissolve it away doesn't mean that having this much filler in your cheeks is actually safe. Ну, мне вообще нравится, в принципе, что она с собой сделает и сну, но это прикольно. Ну, это реально прикольно. Ну, а чтобы не ходить серой мышкой, блядь. Для меня как-то, когда я смотрел на ее скулы, мне казалось, это так, типа, о, там, типа, я был в шоке. А сейчас мне даже маловато, и когда еще кальнуть. This is weird. Is she a nurse or a doctor or a PA? How is she injecting this person? Mm -hmm. 
Did you know that you can look upwards of five years younger in just two minutes a day? You don't need to put a ton of products on your skin to look and feel amazing. The Yoon Beauty 2 Minutes 5 Years Younger Skincare Bundle is perfect for the busy person who wants glowing skin with the least amount of work. I put these four products together just for you. They're made with natural and organic ingredients, great for all skin types, and perfect for all genders. Check out the Yoon Beauty 2 Minutes 5 Years Younger Skincare Bundle at YoonBeauty.com and get over $30 off the individual product price. I guarantee you'll love these products or your money back. There is lots of what I want to add, okay? I want veneers. I want this Hollywood smile, yes? Because I don't love my teeth. Okay. A few years ago, a real famous Hollywood dentist told me that pretty much all the celebrities have veneers. If you see somebody with blindingly white teeth, those are porcelain, they're not real. And the interesting thing is for a lot of them, you actually have to shave your teeth down. I once had a dentist told me that I should get caps on my teeth, which are similar to veneers, but they're actually more aggressive. Once I found out that you've got to literally shave your teeth down into kind of nubbins for some people, it horrified me because of the thousands and thousands of dollars that my parents spent on braces and teeth cleaning when I was a little kid. I don't think that this is like addiction because I, I made what I want on my face. But of course, I don't want to live without fillers or Botox because I don't love wrinkles. I don't love lips like this, you know? So maybe this is the kind of addiction, maybe. This does appear to be a case not so much maybe of addiction as body dysmorphia, where what she sees is small cheeks and what we see are cheeks that are obviously really, really inflated. What she sees is lips that are fairly thin. For you and I, they look quite full and even too big. And unfortunately, for people who have body dysmorphia, they often undergo a series of cosmetic treatments and cosmetic surgeries to try to correct a perceived deformity that was never really there in the first place. And so the, the concern that I would have with her is that, yeah, everything has gone well so far, but it can be that next treatment, that next injection where it's actually injected into a blood vessel and she develops a complication. For all my procedures, I'm doing just for me. I want to wake up, go to the mirror and say, oh, Nasty, you are so beautiful today. I, li I love what I see there. For me, I think, uh, yes, I'm more attractive because I like myself like this. If she is happy with how she looks, then that really is the most important thing. And so I'm very happy for her that it has worked out for her this way. But I think it's also important for her to realize and for her doctors to inform her that overdoing procedures like this not only carry a potential risk of complications with them, but in the future, there could be drawbacks for having done these types of things. Well, she says that she has the biggest cheeks in the world, but what about somebody who claims to have the biggest breasts in the world? Take a peek at this botched reaction of a woman who has breast implants that are bigger than any I have ever seen. They will astound you. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And always remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.